This video is on the Mount Sunday track, which runs from Mount Sunday uh, near the helipad down to uh, Middle Ridge Road. It follows basically a spur. Um, not much to say about this track, really, other than to say it's a difficult four-wheel drive track. It should really only be undertaken by experienced four-wheel drivers with a well-set-up four-wheel drive. And by that I mean having a lifted uh, setup, a winch, and ideally be running mud tyres. I wouldn't recommend uh, taking a new four-wheel drive in here unless you're really happy with um, some fairly decent uh, pinstriping and there's a fair chance you're going to cop the odd knock to the body so just beware. Uh, the track's got everything. It's got a bit of tip at the time we went in which was during summer still had a few holes with water in them. Lots of rock climbs from steep sections, some nice angles and um, slopes to negotiate. I reckon this is a, this is a cracking track. So we, we had a ball. Um, we took in 280 series. They're fairly uh, beaten up, so we weren't too fussed about getting uh, a few knocks here and there. Anyway, I won't say much more than that, but I will point out the obstacles as they come along the track, and um, this will give you a fair idea of what, what the track's all about. This is the first uh, fairly decent obstacles to come along the track from Mount Sunday. There's a good rock step up here. Doesn't look like much just on the video, but it's almost vertical. And the best way to tackle this is to take your right hand tire up the right hand edge and then find your way up. Uh, it definitely can um, catch out if you don't get the right line through there. You can see, see here there's heaps of um, decent holes that have got a bit of depth to them, a bit of water. This is one of the tricky bits, not that far from that rock step up, where the track, you can go left or right, but most people go left, but there's some serious body angles going on here, you can't really tell in the video, You've got to be pretty careful, um, just a bit, few rock step ups, it's tricky, it's not, it's nothing too, too difficult, but um, just need to be careful. There's two sections of the track where the track is really heavily eroded and has almost vertical banks. These banks are almost up to the car window. And the tricky bit is, is that they're always, uh, the cars aren't leaning on a fairly severe angle when you're going through these. So one side of the car is almost invariably going to be touching the, one of those banks. And this is where having a decent set of uh, wheels makes all the difference in the wet. This would be really tricky because you are going to be scrubbing the side of your car down the side of this track. And you can see just even in the video there, there's been plenty of bodywork going on either side of this track. This is the first of them and there's one not that far away from this one. Here's the uh, second uh, bit where the track's heavily eroded and you can see from the angle of the trees that the car is on a fairly decent downhill angle and at this moment uh, that bank is basically an inch or less from my driver's sill, door sill. So it, it's very, very tricky. Uh, 
not un, not undoable. We went through without getting too many scratches, but if you were doing this in the wet, you might um, want to have to be pretty careful coming through there. There's one fairly decent section of this track which has got a lot of rocks. It's fairly steep and you need to pick your way through it. And this is it. Um, if you're in an IFS four wheel drive, you're definitely gonna have some wheels in the air action on this one. Um, there's a good line through here, but you just need to be very careful and um, you'll get up no dramas. We had heaps of fun spinning up this um, bit of the track, it was great fun. And um, yeah, you just don't see this sort of track much these days, so it's a bit of, always a bit of, um, bit of a hoop um, finding your way up these sorts of slopes. Okay, this is basically the end of the track, um, just coming down to Middle Ridge Road. Um, yeah, look, overall, awesome track to drive. Just, um, just be aware that you need to have a little bit of experience and um, be prepared to cop a bit of a touch-up.